Hello friends, James Corbett here with your Propaganda Watch installment for July 31st, 2018. And I must admit, when I started this series, when I announced it last week, I did have a flicker of doubt, just for a moment, will I really be able to find you know, Propaganda Watch-worthy type uh, propaganda every single week, week in and week out? Will it really be an effective series? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Given what I've dug up this week, I, uh, I think it's pretty safe to say in this world we're living in at this time, there will be no shortage of ridiculous, off-the-charts level propaganda to dissect every single week. This week, I bring to you the news hero. The news hero, uh, which you might notice here is NATO Stratcom COE. What on earth is the news hero? I used to work for a gossip newspaper. One day I had a call. I've heard a story about government poisoning its citizens. I had to publish it. The people were enraged and broke into violent riots. Was it my story that created this? I'm going to tell people the truth. I rented a small office and hired an assistant. We started receiving reports from freelance journalists. Some were true, some not so much. I promised myself to never let a story go this far and report only the truth. Join me on my quest to filter the news. My secretary, Bronco, will help you out. My secretary, Bronco, will... I, I am not making this up. This is not a joke. Uh, I, I cannot believe that they are putting something of this level of quality out with the robotic voice announcing that I am now a news journalist and I have to check the news. You can help me out at the News Hero. This is... Uh, this is insane. This is so crazy. I had to actually check and make sure this this is really NATO Stratcom COE. For those who don't know, NATO Stratcom COE, uh, of course, NATO Strategic Communications Center of Excellence, is not, to its, uh, I guess to its credit, to its renown, is not actually part of NATO proper. It just uses the name. But it is, it is uh, funded and, and signed into existence by NATO members to help spread NATO propaganda. And from the About Us, they start with the quotation, Since wars begin in the minds of men, it is in the minds of men that the defenses of peace must be constructed. What an ominous quote from an outright propaganda organization that is there to promote the interests of NATO. And of course, that comes from the preamble to the Constitution of UNESCO, which should come as no surprise to those who know about the founding and origin of UNESCO, as I detailed in Why Big Oil Conquered the World. But here we go, the NATO Strategic uh, Communications Center of Excellence uh, formed in January 2014 to spread NATO propaganda and, of course, counter that uh, that malicious uh, robotic networks and foreign influence and data exploitation by those dastardly Ruskies, mostly, right? Those Russian bots. And so th this is the type of thing they're coming up with now. Um, absolutely insane. And it, it, <laughs> I mean, again, it gets crazier the more you get into this. Uh, you, yeah, it's okay. You're, a, you're an editor and you have to decide if these stories are real or fake. And if they're fake news, you reject them. If they're real news, you publish them. And then you print your newspaper and you find out how good you did, I guess. Um, and in the inline shop, you can buy a novelist, books, plants, an air conditioner. A green office is a stress-free office. Calm down your workers and increase total quality by buying plants. Yes, get the fresh air by placing some plants. I mean, this isn't even English. Get the fresh air by placing some plants. Again, for the second week in a row, I have to ask, <laughs> are these propagandists speaking English or is, or is my English off the charts? I don't know, but anyway... This is nonsense. I, it's absolutely crazy. But again, very real. Definitely coming from a NATO propaganda arm that is not technically part of the NATO structure, but has its own little Facebook game here that you can go and play. Oh, go to the Facebook app site to play the news hero. And there's even a site they've created to introduce you to the game and how to, you know, what you're going to do. Absolutely crazy. Um, but of course, <laughs> as you would expect, as I w well, as I would hope anyway, it is uh, so far as uh, Zero Hedge reporting a complete flop. <laughs> uh, reaction appears to be muted is a bit of an understatement considering it's been up uh, for uh, a week now and it has 50 likes and one share. Uh, it has two reactions on Facebook that they, I guess, have allowed to keep up. And one of them is clearly sarcastic. Okay, so this is the pushback, in quotation marks. And 
A for effort. <laughs> that's, that's one of the reviews that have uh, so far surfaced on this. But it, I mean, it really does get crazier and crazier. Um, Stars and Stripes explaining the game says that some of the scenarios that you have to judge, is this fake or true? Uh, is Justin Timberlake really an anti-vaccination activist? Did a lady in Detroit really train a squirrel to attack her boyfriend? In the news hero, you have to decide. Though a fact checker does most of the thinking for you. <laughs> Exactly. This is uh, exactly. So essentially, I mean, I haven't played the game. I don't have Facebook. I can't play the game. I'm not recommending you play the game. But if you do, I'm going to imagine you find that this is the equivalent of going to Snopes to find out whether a story is true or not is going to be the uh, the end goal of the game to train all the citizens to be good, thoughtless zombies who will go to the approved fact checker sources of information to find out whether something is real or fake. If you're right, you gain virtual currency and a large your audience as reader trust grows for your news organization. If only it were so easy in the perilous real news world where profits are elusive and clickbait and ever-growing lure. Indeed. Well, uh, yeah, anyway, I just thought I would share this with you. Uh, absolute propaganda nonsense. Unbelievable, but not at all surprising coming from the NATO Stratcom Center of Excellence and other propaganda uh, mouthpiece organs for the military industrial complex which of course is promoting its russian bots are behind every every bush or is it a bush behind every russian bot um at any rate i'm gonna leave you with that propaganda watch <laughs> alive and well here on the corporate report looking forward to next week <laughs>